fault analysis using bus impedance matrix. Today we are going to discuss about the flow chart and algorithm part of it. The fault current bus voltage during the fault can be easily calculated by utilizing the elements of the bus impedance matrix. First we see the flow chart, then we will discuss about the algorithm. So the flow chart starts and the first one read the line data, bus data and in which bus the fault occurred and the subtransient reactance of each machine connected to the system. So consider the example problem. So here you can see the line data and bus data. Read this line data and bus data in the first step. So the line data consists of the line admittance, offline charging admittances. Bus data consists of the bus voltages and the power ratings. Consider one more example. A symmetrical fault occurs at bus 4. So the fault location is specified. This we need to take as an input in the first step. And the machine ratings, generator ratings in uh, MVA and the voltage and the reactance values are uh, specified. And these data are taken as an input in the first step. So these are the input data. Second step, assume free fault load currents. The shunt elements in transformer, transformer taps, shunt capacitance, series resistance are neglected. The pre-fault load currents are neglected, so that is equal to zero. So consider the single line diagram. So for this diagram, if you draw a impedance diagram for this, you will be having the resistance and reactance, capacitance, all the parameters are present here. For generator, you will be having a resistance and reactance. And for transformer, you will be having the shunt component. So this shunt elements in the transformers are neglected. And the transformer tab settings are neglected and in transmission line here you can see the pi network so this capacitance are called as a shunt capacitance this shunt capacitance are neglected and the series resistances all the series resistances are neglected so this is what we are assuming in the step 2 so in order to reduce the complexity for the analysis of fault draw the pre fault per phase network that is the positive sequence network. Using the positive sequence network, we are going to obtain the Z bus matrix using bus building algorithm. Consider the same single line diagram. So, for this, you can draw the reactance diagram that is a positive sequence network which consists of a generator EMF and the reactance. For transformer, there is a reactance and there is a line reactance, transformer 2, there is a reactance, then the motor reactance and the back EMF. So this is a positive sequence network. For the given single line diagram, we need to draw the positive sequence network. Using that network, we are going to determine the Z bus matrix using bus building algorithm. Step 4, obtain pre-fault bus voltage from the power flow solution. For each bus except slack bus, we are going to determine the pre-fault bus voltages V1, V2, V3 up to Vn. The next step, draw the Thevenin equivalent circuit and obtain the fault current using this formula. For the given single line diagram, we used to draw the reactance diagram and after analyzing the reactance diagram, finally we are drawing this Thevenin equivalent circuit to find out the fault current. So here the fault location is specified at bus 4 the fault occurs. A Thevenin impedance series with the voltage source which, which is V Thevenin and at fault point we are connected the fault impedance EZF and this is the Thevenin equivalent circuit. And this Q represents the bus at which the fault occurs and EZF is the fault impedance. Next step, compute change in bus voltages using network equation del v1 del v2 up to del vn the change in voltage equal to the z matrix into the fault current value 0 up to minus if at the fault point and the remaining terms are 0 and using this multiplying this z with the fault current we can able to compute the change in bus voltages next step compute post fault bus voltages using network equation so after the fault the post fault bus voltages can be determined using this formula v1 of v1 power f equal to v1 naught 
minus z1 q into if and next one z2 q into if up to z n q into if so this q represents the fault bus so we can calculate the post fault bus voltages using this formula next step calculate the post fault line current using the direct formula iij equal to vif minus vjf divided by zij series so this vif and vjf you can directly take from this post fault bus voltages already we calculated and this zij series we can take from the z bus matrix so while solving problem you can able to understand this concept in a better way direct substitution you can find the post fault line current here after finding out all these things finally you are going to print the fault current post fault voltages post fault line current etc and stop the execution so this is the flow chart for fault analysis using z bus matrix now we'll see the algorithm part of it algorithm step 1 read the following details first one is line data bus data fault bus and subtransient reactants of each machine connected to the system step 2 some assumptions are made assume the pre fault load currents then the shunt element in transformer, transformer taps settings, shunt capacitance, series resistance of lines are neglected. Step 3 Draw the pre fault per phase network that is positive sequence network. In the algorithm, you can draw this uh, sample network which consists of two generators and one motor connected by the transmission line, a simple positive sequence network. And step 4 obtain bus impedance matrix using bus building algorithm. So, already we solved some problem to find out the bus impedance matrix uh, using bus building algorithm. Kindly check it out. And step 5 obtain pre fault bus voltages from the power flow solution. So, V bus equal to V1 naught up to Vn naught. So, using this we can obtain the pre fault bus voltages. And step 6 draw the thevenin equivalent circuit so the thevenin equivalent circuit consists of a single voltage source so this is a thevenin voltage vq naught so the q at which the fault occurs this is the point where the fault occurs and the thevenin impedance is at th also we call it as z q q and the fault current flows through this path and the impedance at this path is z f which is the fault impedance and step 7 Obtain fault current using the equation VQ0 divided by ZQQ plus ZF. And step 8 Compute change in bus voltages using network equations del V1, del V2 up to del Vn. So, this already we have seen in the flow chart. So, directly you can write here in the step 8. And step 9 Compute post fault bus voltages using network equation. The same equation we have seen in flow chart. You can write those equations here. And step 10 compute post fault line current using the equation Iij equal to Vi minus Vj divided by Zij series. And step 11 thus, with the knowledge of the bus impedance matrix Z bus matrix, the fault current, the bus voltages during the fault, and the post fault line currents are obtained for any faulted buses. So, these are the 11 steps in the algorithm. So, this question is very very important. You have to draw the flow chart and this 11 steps of algorithm. So, this is a flow of a fault analysis using bus impedance matrix. Mm -hmm.